Today we're gonna build an entire website from scratch with tabs, a uh, contact page, and a complete case study all ready to go in just 15 minutes. Stay tuned. Welcome back everyone. I hope you're all having an incredible day. Something that I've noticed with a lot of budding designers is they usually don't have any kind of portfolio website set up. And it's not that they don't have any projects to show off. It's they either don't want to spend the time coding something up from scratch or they don't want to spend $15, $20 a month for something like a Squarespace or a Wix. But if you really want to get an internship or a job in design, it's so important to have some kind of website or a portfolio to show off your work. So today I'm going to share with you how to build an entire website from scratch for free using something called Notion. Now, if you're already familiar with Notion or you don't want to sit through this entire video, I do have a link in the description below with some pre-made templates that literally take like two seconds to duplicate and use for yourself. So if you want to do that, feel free to go ahead, click the link down there. Uh, you won't hurt my feelings. So before I get into the, the details, build the website, I want to address a few concerns first. Uh, when I ran this idea by a few friends of mine who, who are starting to get into design, the most common question I got was, is this okay? Can a portfolio built on Notion really get me a job? And my answer to that is absolutely yes. Uh, one of my super talented friends got her internship at Dropbox doing product design with a portfolio made entirely on Notion. Um, I'll link that along with some other portfolios I like down below. So I really wouldn't worry so much about how the website is made. What's really important here is that your work, the content, the case studies, those are good. If you've already got all that down and then you have extra time on your hands to, to make a super pretty portfolio with animations, colors, parallax, scrolling, all that, uh, by all means, go ahead. But if you're short on time, you've got a lot of projects to work on and you really don't want to spend any more time maintaining a website, the solution uh, is going to be great for you. So let's get right to it. Once you make an account on Notion, you'll land on a page like this. Um, and what Notion basically is, is it's a text editor, right? So you can type in whatever you want. Um, you can also change these into larger headings to, to style it. Let's move this up a little bit. Uh, you can also add in images. So I'll type in slash image. Um, and you can add in whatever image you like. You can just drag in something from your computer as well. I'll reposition this in a prettier way. Um, I'll add in some lipsum text. Right, and I think you can automatically see like how much easier this is to use um, than than something like Squarespace if you've ever tried that. Um, this is super quick because it limits what you're able to do with the styling in a way that forces you to really focus on the content. Um, so I'll go ahead and delete this, and let's start with actually making our website. So we'll start with a page. I'll type in slash page, um, and I'll name this page my portfolio. So this is kind of like our, our starting point. Um, when, when someone wants to, to get to this page, you can just share it with them um, by clicking up here, making it shareable to the web. And this link will basically lead to this page from now on. Give it a second. So, so this is what people see. It's just empty right now. But um, what we'll do is we'll first add in a few tabs. So we'll add in another page here. Um, let's do an About Me page. I'll add in a picture of myself. Um, let's pretend that one of these is a picture of me. What's a good one? Ooh, cookies. Okay, let's go with uh, these macarons. Beautiful. Um, I'll say hello. My name is Tantai. I'll change this into a heading. I'm hitting Command Option 1 to change that to an H1. Move it up here. And then I'll add some lipsum. Great, so we have an About Me page. Super easy. I'll add in an emoji here to add some personality. And then let's make another page um, so people can contact us. All right, so we'll type in slash, uh, make a page, name it contact. Um, the cool thing here is you can embed um, other forms, other pages, PDFs, Google Docs in here. So what I like to use is something called Chili Pepper. Um, it takes two minutes to just make a form. Um, it'll spit out a link that you can just paste in. And once you hit embed link, it'll show up as a form. And you can resize this, move it however you like. But that's all it takes to make a form. Right? So what was that, like two minutes? And we already have two pages on our website done. I'll add in a divider in here as well, just to clean things up. 
Now let's move on to the actual content. Um, I'm going to type in slash gallery. I'm going to choose inline. And what this creates is a grid of different pages with a cover image uh, that, that you can play with. So I'll, I'll change the properties here to make the card size a little bit larger, right? Uh, so you can show more of your work. Um, I'll name this gallery my work. And I'll go into one of these pages. And we'll, we'll start to play around with some of the fields here. So right at the top, we have a few uh, customizable properties that you can play with. So you can add um, a date. So I'll, I'll change this to a date field. Um, so you can show like when, when this project was started, when it ended, things like that. Right. Uh, some people also like to do a duration. So you can say this took like five weeks instead of doing a date range. That works as well. You can add in tags. So let's say this was like a web development project. Right. Uh, let's say it was a B2C company that I was working for. Um, we can also add in other properties. So I'm going to add in a few more multi selects in here. So we'll make one uh, for my role. We'll do one for tools that I used. Uh, we can also have deliverables. Whatever properties you want to add, feel free to do so. So let's say I was a product designer here. Oh product designer. Um, let me delete this. So I'm going to click that, delete that field. Um, I was also a web, I, I was a front end developer. Sounds cooler. Front end developer. And then I was a UX researcher. All right. What tools did I use? I used uh, Figma to sketch everything up. I used principle, let's say. Uh, to make prototypes with animations, and then I coded everything in React. Deliverables, let's change this into a multi-select as well. Deliverables include a web app, um, we'll say a wireframe, and maybe like a brand guide. Cool. So you can add in whatever field you like, um, but I'll stop here, um, and let's get right into the actual content. So I'll start off with an image. Um, let's go with some more cookies. Whatever image you choose as your first image is going to be the cover image that shows up um, in the gallery view. Um, so usually this will be some kind of mock-up that you've made um, for your project. Um, but now that we're getting into the actual case study, I want to talk a little bit about how to structure a good case study. Um, and you really have to think about this from the perspective of a recruiter. Right, uh, you're looking at hundreds of portfolios. Everything blends into one. You just want to extract the information you need and move on to the next person. So you want to make their job easier by giving all the high-level details all in one snapshot, um, just so they can see that you're worth even looking at um, before they move on. And, and because your, your case study was too long. So what you want to do is you want to give a high-level overview of what the project is, and you're kind of doing this with the tags up here. But you want to tell them basically that. This is worth looking at. Um, I actually got results. This is what the problem is. This is what I did. I'm um, here some numbers to show it. So what I'll do is I'll add in here um, an overview section. I'll make this an H1. I'll add a divider. Actually, let's make this an H2. It's a little bit too big. Okay. Um, and then I'll add in here, like you know, maybe like a summary of the project, what the problem was what the solution was. Um, I'll describe my role in the process um, and then the status of the project. Did this ship? Um, was it just like a project you did for the concept? Uh, did you end up scrapping it? What happened with it? Is it live right now? Things like that. And then I'll also add in a results section. Um, and here I'll add in some like high level numbers. Let's say I increased engagement by 123%. Right, I'll make this an H3, add some short lips, some text, um, and then I'll duplicate this and then I'll put it to the side. Oops, uh, we'll do this one more time just to make it look nice. Okay, so here's some high level results, and then the last thing I want to put in, um, in terms of the quick snapshot, is the final result. Um, and this is this is my favorite part here. Um, I'm gonna embed a Figma file directly in here. So I'm going to grab a Figma prototype that I've made for a website. I'll copy this and then I'll paste it right in here. 
And the cool thing is you'll get, once it loads, you'll get a prototype of your Figma that the recruiter can actually play with. So I think they can go in here and actually scroll through everything, click whatever buttons you have, um, and they'll be able to see the final result even if you didn't end up shipping an actual project. So I really like having that um, right at the beginning. Okay, so once you have all that, now you can get in uh, to some of the more basic things like, okay, you can dive deeper into the problem. We'll make a section there. Oops, let's have a div, um, some bullet points. Right, uh, let's do a short. Oh, can't type. Um, and then I'll duplicate this um, for some of the other things that we'll have to include. So I'll want something like a uh, process. Maybe I'll have some user interviews, personas, things like that. And then I'll have maybe a solution section. And then finally, um, once you fill all this out, I'm assuming you have all this done already. Um, I'll add in a few links to other pages. So I'll add in a call out. Um, case study two, and then I'll duplicate this. Let's add some buttons. Case study three. So what you'll do here is you'll go to one of your other pages, grab the link from here, copy it, um, and go back and paste it right at the bottom here. So you just highlight it, hit Command V, and then now this is the link to your other page. Okay. Um, so there's a complete case study done. That was like 10 minutes of work. Um, go in and fill this out however you want. Um, but let's move on to, to uh, the rest of the portfolio um, and really polishing this up. And what I like to use for this is something called Super. What Super allows you to do, I'll go to the landing page here, is it allows you to, to create a custom domain for your Notion page. So what you can do right now is if you don't want to pay for a domain, um, you can just share this. And, and use it as your actual portfolio. But maybe you want something a little bit nicer, maybe something um, that doesn't look like it was just a Notion page, you wanna you know, customize domain. You can go and buy Google domain, uh, probably 10 bucks a year, um, and put it into Super. Super costs uh, four, month, four dollars a month, um, but it allows you to, to mask whatever Notion page you have with the domain. So I'm using one of the domains I have now. Super easy to set up, you just go in here, connect it to Google domains, um, and you can choose whatever fonts you want to use. Right, um, they have a giant list of fonts here. You can upload a site image to show as your little icon up here. You can add in snippets if you, you know how to code, analytics, things like that. You can add in a snippet for your uh, SEO purposes. Um, whatever you need, you can go in here and do. Um, and this really polishes it up and makes it look not like um, just a Notion page if, if you're interested in that. So that's basically everything that I wanted to share with you today. Um, once again, I have templates for everything here below in the description. So if you just want to duplicate those and not do everything from scratch, feel free to do so. I also have some portfolio inspirations down there as well. Um, so be sure to take a look. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Hit me up on Twitter. Hit me up on Instagram. Always happy to chat. Um, but other than that, good luck with everything, and I'll see you next time.